Welcome back, guys. It is time for our entertainment news. First up, Matt Mellon was neglected by the music industry, Mountain Black. Mountain Black of the music duo Downfall Drivers has come out to accuse the Nigerian music industry of neglecting his late colleague, Matt Mellon. He made this known in a recent interview where he was asked about, this, about his late colleague and he said, yes, he was neglected by the music industry. We became popular in 2003 and we had been managing ourselves since then. I believe that with God, all things are possible. We believed in ourselves and that is why we are still relevant in the industry till now. The industry is very wide. You can fix yourself anywhere and make your money. We were also both involved in transportation business. Now, he further disclosed that he does not know anything about the illness that led to Mad Mellon's death as he was not around when the incident happened. Veteran singer Daddy Shoki announced the death of one of one Mad Mellon who reportedly battled an undisclosed illness. And that was how we got to know about yeah. all of this. Really sad stuff. Yeah. Um, I mean, really sad that... I think the sad part for me is the fact that he said he didn't know what led to the death to the because death, he wasn't yeah. around and stuff. Mm. But I just feel like uh, by now you probably should know. But hey, what do I know about that? But that aside, um, so we didn't know about this neglect until now, yeah. mm. which I think is great because um, it just shows that they didn't go around saying, oh, what is us? The industry hates us. They were doing all that stuff. Mm. Like you mentioned the transportation business, business, which I think is really cool. Um, I was thinking about this over the weekend, actually, just reflecting that, you know, um, do you just want to stay and be an artist? Or over time, do you check if, look, is it's this all there is to, to yeah. me or should I exactly, should I diversify? Should I go into other things? Should I consider other things within music or mm. outside the music business? And it was nice that they also had that going for them, the transportation yeah. business. Really, really cool. So I'm glad that they weren't whining and blaming anyone at the time. Like it's now that we're hearing about it. So yeah, cool. Sad. And, but, and I think it's yeah. just crazy. I saw a clip of that Shoki complaining that people should always speak out yes. because I think the illness was a situation whereby if they had spoken out, Thing, um, something might help. have been yeah. done. So he put up a clip, um, recorded a clip saying, we should always speak out when we are going through things that you never can tell we might help. So I think I, I, I think it's relating to this particular situation yeah. because it was still the same person that broke the news. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, I remember when um, the, the Nigerian, the Yoruba actress, uh, Maisha Mimbola had passed mm -hmm. and Ronke Oshudioki was saying, oh, she didn't speak up, she didn't speak yeah. up about it, that when she saw her, she was just like, oh, she's good, she's just doing a fitness thing, that's why she had lost weight, and then turned out it was cancer and all that. Um, I think maybe also the thing that, the stigma, perhaps, should I say stigma in this case, that comes with the industry coming to say, this is what I'm going through, mm -hmm. and soliciting for funds, I think maybe that also makes them not want to come out. Come I don't out know. Because they'll, they'll probably feel like they'll be ridiculed and all of that. And I in all honesty, in all honesty, this is our industry. We have to be like, it's not that easy to come out and say, oh, I'm dealing with this. Because the next person is looking for how to, you know, uh, bring you down and step on you and try to get up there. Even the ones that say they're friends. So it's, I, I, I will not exactly blame anybody because at the end of the day, we always say that, you know, no one, you don't, um, you, you, that, that whole sense of entitlement where you feel like, oh, because I'm a public figure, so if I'm ill, I'm going to put it out there. Everybody's supposed to come through for me. Like, I have fans. You know, there are some people that don't believe in it and they're just like, this is a private thing. I'll talk to the people in my circle that I can talk to that I trust, you know, yeah. and if anything happens, okay. Yeah. If not, I mean, I think but it's sad. It's actually really sad. Um, we just pray that, you know, yeah. he rests in peace. And I think there might be something to do with the fact that you were so high up there mm -hmm. in your day, and then now you're coming nah. out to say, I'm going through this. But I think we should just encourage everyone to speak out. Speak Regardless, on. trust that the fan base that you had at the time would come through for, for you. you. And we'll also tell people that we'll be spoken to, to please not turn it into gist yes, or breaking yes. news for the blogs. Yeah. It is, the person is weak, that's why they're talking to you. Vulnerability is a sign of strength, and if someone has chosen you to be that person that I want to be vulnerable with i mean it's a big deal so you should respect it all that's right. what i'm gonna say all right moving on to the next story white tasha of bbn yeah. was a hot topic over the weekend oh my gosh. yes it seems the eviction of ex big brother nigeria housemate tasha was nigeria's social media so focused over the weekend and much more interesting than the news of her eviction was the drama that followed it after being disqualified from the big brother nigeria it show abruptly last friday following an altercation with fellow housemate messi nigerian social media was thrown into a frenzy with many reacting to the news some were shocked by the eviction where others found the humor and the situation. Nigerian artist Zlatan Ibile even dropped a humorous freestyle and promised to release the full song if it got up to 150,000 comments. You guys should check this out. Ah, get on, get on, get on. 
Okay, another side to this was that it sparked a mental health conversation with some insinuating that finding humor in Tatcha's alleged body odor is all fun and games until it begins to affect her mental health. Mm -hmm. The drama, however, got complicated when one of Tatcha's supporters, Jaruma, alleged that Big Brother had refused to release Tatcha to her management despite having evicted her. The news led to the Twitter hashtag, hashtag release Tatcha, becoming a major trending topic online. Speaking in a live IG video, before yesterday's live show, Big Brother Niger host Ebuka Obi Uchendu cleared the air about Tatcha's whereabouts. He said, and I quote, I think she's been with her friend and family since yesterday. I think she is fine. So there's <sighs> no way we're going to talk about all of this without yeah. talking about Tatcha because it's still trending. People are still, still talking about yeah, it. People are still talking about this. And so two sides to it. Yeah, three uh, steps. OJ. Yeah. <laughs> so many sides. <laughs> There was the laughter side, so people who thought it was funny about her being made fun of with the mouth odor and body odor thing. Yeah. Some people started saying odoye wu and things like that. Mm -hmm. And then people who thought it was, people who were shocked, like, ah, you know, they thought she would still get another chance. Of course, people who called for the eviction because violence is never an option. And I believe she pulled yeah, her hair and her. stuff. People then, who were looking for her. Yes, people who were looking for her, exactly. People who promised her money or said something about money in the past. Audio and everybody's money. like, where is the money? Is the audio money? And then the people who said, look, you're making fun of this girl's body odor, mouth odor okay. issues. If this becomes something deep in the future where she kills herself because the whole world is laughing at her, the state of her um, personal hygiene, then what are you going to do about it? So there's so many sides to the argument. And um, of course, Big Brother is such an ongoing conversation, but it's something you have to talk about because it sparked the conversation. And then the lazy Nigerian youth thing came back up. And people are like, because oh, people... did you guys make this much noise for NSARS? Did you make this much noise for other things? And then did you make this much noise for xenophobia? Mm -hmm. And then you're making release such a, such a big deal. What is she doing in the house? Are you promoting? violence so many things. okay so that really stature thing I feel like um, whoever is calling for it doesn't have knowledge of what he or she is doing because I mean when you're going on a show like that even from the audition stage you when you're filling the form you also sign a contract and it's stated clearly the moment you get into the house no matter what happens they're in charge of I mean they're it's up to them to either um, um, nullify the, the the contract or go on with it so in the case of Kem Kemen's case he didn't go for media rounds because they were not interested in promoting that kind of you know mm -hmm. um, parsing or whatever it was yeah. that they, but did, they that didn't they did, that he did um, with Chloe and um, 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 the other Kay guy, Kay Brule. I, I don't know if they did um, media rounds. I don't think they did it. And I, I feel like it was, based, it was their discretion. If they say they're, they're not going to do media rounds for you, but if they've chosen to do media rounds for you, it is in the contract until they say they're not interested in doing that for you. You have to remain there for a week because if you're staying 99 days in the, in the house, you have extra one week that it will tell you you go for media rounds. Have you seen um, Kafi, Venita, everybody People, come on yeah, here everybody. because they're doing their media rounds. That one week is dedicated to the Mnet and, um, um, and DSTV family. So you have to let me obey just, and let me just read your contract, release, I feel. Yeah. This release, Tasha, um, Tasha, Tasha? Tasha. Okay, Tasha. So this Tacha release, Tasha thing, let me break it down. So basically, she was to be evicted. She was disqualified because mm -hmm. of the violence that happened with the mm -hmm. Messi fight and all that. And then um, Jeremiah came out and was like, oh, yo, you guys, why are you keeping her? She's supposed to leave the house, release her to her management. And then we started hearing that they didn't release her because they still wanted to keep her for media rounds, which yeah. is apparently a the part contract, of the contract. Yeah. Yeah. Let's mo stuff. Moving on from all of this, can we talk about the song that Zlatan... <laughs> wow. Zlatan talked about 150,000 comments and, and it is more than. Yes, it is, and, and Zlatan has been getting a lot of backlash that why will you joke with something like this? I guess that's why he has not released the song. Yeah. Uh, you said you heard the song in the market. Oh, well, I went to the market on yeah. Saturday. Like, like the song Balogo. is... You know how there are like five people selling CDs everywhere and they all have speakers. So when you're moving from Axis A, you'll be hearing it on this side and you move... So the you other know, side, you're here. You know, you actually don't need to release. You actually boys, don't need to release the song already. Everybody was just laughing and dancing about, and it, it was just fun. They were all catching crews. Now, this is what I'm going to say. I feel like what goes around comes around. For so many, I mean, for so many people that are not 
on Tatcha's side right now, it's not because, oh, they're not, um, um, they're not Energy, emp yeah. empathetic. Uh, empathetic, rather. They, they actually feel for her, but it's a thing where they want to, some of them, most of them that I spoke to said, look, we need to teach her a lesson because you can't have a bad attitude. And it will change the narrative of the show because, oh, people felt like, oh, T-Boss got away with all the C -C. things that she did. CC got away with things that she did. And now it's like, the next person that wants to go in, if Tatcha gets away with this, would just feel like, oh, all I need to do is have a nasty attitude and they'll go, they're going to keep me on the show like because obviously they need drama and controversy. Talkability is money at the end of the day. So I feel like it, it was good for them to have you know, done what they did, but then some other people felt maybe they, yeah. they should have evicted Mercy as well. And I'm like, no, three times on three different occasions, they canceled um, Tatcha's um, strikes. She had three, two strikes before. They nullified the whole thing. She had another two strikes, nullified it. Then she already had another two strikes. This was the very first time Mercy was getting a strike. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I'm like, yeah. it's not the same thing. I know people are like, oh, she flicked her hair in her face. If you flick my, self-control is key. Mm. Do you understand? At the end of the day, oh, she flicked her hair. Then chill, hold on. Don't. The next thing to do is not to drag her hair or whatever it is. And I felt like, I, I, in all honesty, um, the fact that Tatcha used to come for people as well as social media is another reason why people are just very yeah, uninterested on, and. This is right, crazy, right. crazy situation. Right, we'll we'll keep our fingers great, crossed. Yeah, though. I think that's a great way to wrap that up. All right. Keep us in. Just wow, OJ. All right, guys. Finally, um, for La Dele. <laughs> finally, in the news and this foreign story, Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez hold engagement party. Celebrity couple Jennifer Lopez and A Rod have finally um, has finally rather had a party to celebrate their engagement after having been engaged since March of this year. This party was held in the presence of friends and family in Los Angeles, in the U.S., not in Lagos, <laughs> over the weekend, and they both took the, to their respective Instagram pages to share some of the exciting moments from the engagement party. In case you don't know JLo already has a, um, an 11 year old set of twins Max and uh, Emmy with ex-husband Mark Anthony and um, A-Rod has two daughters Ella 11 and Natasha Alexander 14 with ex-wife Cynthia Scottis. Congratulations to the couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I don't think there's much to say about this. I mean we love their love story and we've said this over and over mm. again. So congrats guys and um, can't wait for the wedding. We'll turn up from here. Okay. What if be. I want to, if I'm built to be there? Built to be there as what? As me. As the host or like? Don't worry, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Oh. <laughs> we'll Not be, the, the fingers it's will be crossed <laughs> forever, my G, because OJ <laughs> is going to be here. Where is J Lo? God. Oh, God. And she's 50. Yes. Yeah, and she's, she's still hot. Uh, still popping. Can you see her walking? We just want to go there and scatter the wedding, but I'm just joking. It can't happen. Oh, wow. So if the pastor says, if you are not in support of this wedding, say, raise your hand. Oh, me? Yes. I'll raise two hands. That's all that we yes. have for you on Entertainment News. <laughs> yes. On East Black. I don't know what OJ is talking about. All right, guys. Moving swiftly along on the show. It's time for Celebrity Birthday. Shout Yay. out. Celebrating today are the following people. Music comedian Kenny Black turns 27 today. Yeah. Happy birthday, Such Kenny a great talent. Amazing talent. Amazing, yeah. amazing talent. Super. Super great at what he does. All right, also celebrating today, Nigerian actor, film producer, and director, Kule Afolayo turns 45 Why? today. Wow. Happy birthday, Papa. Papa? Papa? I thought Papa was like your daddy. My daddy is my daddy. I call my daddy my daddy. Okay, but he's but Papa. I call him Papa. Why is he okay. Papa? Because he's my Papa. Like, why you call me big Papa? Okay. All right. Oh, wow. And Just finally, wow. <laughs> celebrating today, American actress and singer, Lacey Shabet. She turns... 37 today, and she was the voice of Meg Ryan on the first season of Family Guy, <laughs> actually, and that's before Mila Kunis yeah. took over. And you might also remember her from movies like Daddy Daycare and Mean Girls. In Mean Girls, she was the one that was doing the, um, that's so fetch, <laughs> that's so fetch. Happy birthday, <laughs> Happy Lacey. birthday, Lacey, Kule, and uh, Kenny Black. Kenny Black. And happy birthday to everyone celebrating today. We celebrate with you. Happy mm -hmm. birthday. It's a Monday. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now let's find out what we have for you today on Man Crush Monday and Rewind. Stay here with us. That's why I said it's Monday. Man Crush Monday.